Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and I've been putting off playing Maya. And I'm sorry to the Maya players, I'm sorry to everyone who loves to see the Siren gameplay. Reason being is, she just really sucks against raids. I'm sorry. SMG Max Ammo could be something that we're interested in here though. I am going to take the melee damage relic, because if I can get a plus 6 backdraft and in in like a... Like a Rough Rider, or like a decent Roid Shield, I might go melee. Either way, I, I have one win on her, which is I'd for my fewest. And uh, I want to get more, but she just she does a great job at clearing out a lot of the stages, but just, a, just an absolutely horrific job killing the dragons. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's not just me. Maybe there's something to it. I don't know entirely. But this let's just say that the starting room is leaving a little bit to be desired. Kind of trash all over the place. Um, let's just take this auditing sniper rifle. We do have a doll, a doll's rifle. We can slap this on him. I mean, it's purple. Maybe, maybe it'll be Dece. And this Calipine is okay as well. All right, it's Peter Patter. Let's get at her. First five points. You sh I know you could be saying, well, if, why don't you try something different if, if it's not working for you? But getting down this skill tree is like so important. Ruin. Okay, here's the problem with Maya, okay? Dude, we gotta break it down for you. I'll break it down for you. Here's the problem with Maya. Maya is reliant on two different things to be effective. The first is face lock. Oh my gosh, the, this is um, that. Oh, that is so bad. I have never seen. I have never seen a gun that bad. Okay, let's go. Let's go grab this pressure pad. I, I can't use these guns. She's reliant on face lock. And she's relying on kills. Oh, okay. That, there's a weapon. We officially have ourselves a weapon, ladies and gentlemen. And a corrosive damage weapon as well. Okay, so... Hear me out. Snipers? So, okay. Not the actual sniper. Like, the dull weapon that's called the sniper is goaded. It's a goaded gun. You'll see. If I get, if I get the right uh, enemies, you'll see. Like, back to what I was saying. She's relying on phase lock, number one. And fa phase locking uh, raid bosses doesn't happen. Like, they, yeah, they, you slag them. And she, she, does, she does have consistent slag. I'll, I'll, give her, I'll give her that. Consistent slag. But they cannot be locked down. They, they cannot. You do not get the bonuses from having people phase locked. Okay, her biggest bonuses that she gets are from phase locking enemies and getting wreck, which gives you that increased fire rate. Sweet release, which gives you that big healing, which brings me to my second piece. She has good healing if she can kill targets that are face locked, like really good healing. That's why she's so strong at mobbing, because you can just uh, one shot kids and get all your health back. But the problem is you can't do that to raid bosses. So while you're sitting there, you know, like trying to figure out how to do damage, they're one shotting you and you can't heal and you die. Now, you say, okay, well, Zero doesn't have much healing, but he still does well against raid bosses. That's true. And this is bringing to my second point. Every other character in this game has a way to mitigate damage in some way. Um, some major way. Most For most of the cast, it's about diverting the aggro to something else. Zero, the clone. You can send your, you can send your clone out, the dragons will attack that. Um, and I'm saying dragons because they're the hardest boss, in my opinion. At least in this game, this is what I play. Uh, let's take mm, Helios, just for the extra damage while people are phase-locked. What, what, what was I saying? I, mean, I gotta think about it. Oh, chain lightning. That's that's good. I mean, maybe that can maybe that can solve my healing problem. If I can get a grognos or something. Okay, ammo regen for a short time, but don't need it. Uh, I was mentioning how she's relying on phase lock. Hmm. It's just someone in the comments actually is gonna be like, "Dude, is this guy high?" No, I'm sober, Sally. Sober, Sally. But sometimes, you know, you're trying to do, two, you're trying to walk and chew bubble gum at the same time, and then it, it, things just get lost in translation. Oh, being able to divert the aggro, right? Other characters can divert aggro in the game. Zero, his his deception. 
Um, Axon turrets. Gage, she has the best, the best one of all. Death trap. She is insanely tanky. Um, let's let's just swap to my. Let's make sure that we just use our a ravager here. Honestly, I don't think we need to necessarily use the, the emerald sniper. It'll be useful if we get Hyperus. Then you guys will see. Put this guy up. Oh, see you later. This 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 can be a little framey at times. I mean, again, like the mobbing on Maya is insanely good. Is some of the easiest mobbing. Look at look at the way. I mean, it, a lot of this is the Ravager. Don't get me wrong. Come on, reload before he gets back. Uh oh. He's a little bit tanky, huh? Oh, come on. Go down, homie. Go. Phase lock. Only two enemies to kill. You go down. Let's see. Oh, a Slaga. That's good. Whoa, super badass. I don't even want to kill you. Let's just kill this EXP loader and run away. Uh, Salvador, and then if you don't have a way to, to divert aggro, you have a way to soak damage. Krieg? Krieg has ridiculous amounts of damage reduction. Now, Krieg's the second worst. I don't want to talk about how great Krieg is, because he's, in my opinion, he's the second worst. But... Krieg, at least, he's got so much damage reduction, especially if you go the left and middle trees, that the, the dragons actually struggle to kill you, like, actually doing damage to you. And Salvador, well, Salvador just heals through everything, just putting any sort of moxie weapon. The odds of not getting a moxie weapon are pretty low in Rogue Lance, usually. So, let me just, uh, I'm gonna see if I can do this without grenade jumping. Come on, get up there, brother. Get up there. Okay, let's, okay, let's just grenade jump it then. I wanna, I wanna climb here. Plus grenade, jump. Really? It's gotta be a better way, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying. Run jump. No. I know that I know you can get up there. Let's try again with a grenade jump. Grenade down. Ah. There we go. Nice. So Maya, basically, not only are you stuck not doing any damage, but you're also stuck. Uh, without a way to stop the dragons from one-shotting you. So you basically are complete reliant on, in my opinion, a moxie weapon plus chain lightning. And not even a moxie weapon, a grog nozzle. Uh, that, that seems to be the only way to get the job done. Pretty high damage muck and muck. We might want that in case we get someone like uh, Terramorphos or something like that. So the fact that we got a chain lightning early on here is is good. Now I could just use a grog nozzle. Okay, the next five points, Cloud Kill is an absolute must. I'm not above using it, especially because Maya has been my character with the least wins. I'm going to use Cloud Kill. Like, I'm not going to use Cloud Kill. All right, let's pitter patter. Let's get at her. Nice, nice head, bro. <laughs> let's soften him up. Oh, I need to put my Chain Lightning back on after I equip that launcher. Chain Lightning, get back on, brother. And I don't really want to fight these guys uh, fair and square. I'm going to climb up here and hope to not get one shot. Okay, I'm safe for a period of time. Let my shield regen while I'm up here. Let's do a little bit of hiding. Turn off the radio. Sorry, bud. Okay, let's go. Up here. Up here. Oh, I wanted to get some high ground. That's okay. Put this guy up and blast him. He might my cooldown back as soon as possible. I just want to get some high ground or at least somewhere I can hide. Like right up here. There, yeah, perfect. This stage is really difficult, so just... You're running around... Oh, we need a transfusion. A lob slag transfusion. Yeah, maybe we could use this just for a little bit. Until we get the grog or something like that, the chain lightning, it's good, but it doesn't do very much damage. Is that a droog? Pushka. Okay. I am gonna wanna I'm gonna wanna take especially a, a shock SMG, because if I can get a a cat class mod, that shock SMG is gonna become extremely useful. See you later. Uh-oh. Come on, Cloud Kill, do your thing, do your thing. Good. 
I'll kill hogging off right now. Whoa, go inside that cloud. They're swarming me. Good. Oh, that's nice damage. Yeah, so phase lock plus cloud kill just it really does rinse these areas pretty thoroughly. Get that slack transfusion down. If Maya had more, like, better access to healing, I feel like she'd be good. I mean, maybe using something like a Legendary Nurse class mod would be an adaptation that we could do. But even then, like, the healing isn't... It isn't all that. I wish... I don't know. If she has something like, you know, meleeing would, would heal her or something like that. There's no way to heal up quickly. She can heal up everybody else but herself. Which is incredible to me. All right, Reaper... Oh, I should have taken that chest over there. That's okay. Haters follow. You just gotta be careful not to get one shot. By Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Okay, and also the... Whatever this other guy's name is. I see a buccaneer. Here he is. The big sleep. Um, let's get rid of his shield first. Okay, hey. He's like, he's basically, it's, it's like playing against Thresh in, uh, in League of Legends. There we go. Now he's locked down. Reload, reload. Get some more damage down while I can. There we go. Good stuff. Yep, I definitely gonna want to get some, some transfusions out there, and I go down. Will I get back up? Probably. I think, I think I'll be okay here. Cloud kill does its work. Then I do my work. Good. Oh, that was my first chance at a Grog. Don't, I don't get it. I, I honestly think that the Grog is going to be the difference maker in my in my run this time around. Put him up. A quick reload off. Okay, now Sandman goes down. I need to clear out some more enemies, though. Get slagged. He gets slagged, and then the transfusions get back to me. They heal me up. Cut him up, put him down. Pretty simple. <laughs> the music in this zone is amazing. So yeah. One more kill required. Aim down sight. Good. Alright, let's go ahead and collect some shovels up. Shovel number one. Shovel number quick scope. Oh, dang it. Level number two. Hyperion reloads are dope. And shovel number tray. Good work. Let's check the ones that went flying first. Adaptive shield with really bad stats is the only problem. I'm not expecting it to have better stats than the one I currently have, but... Homing fire burst could be very useful. Let's just, let's just make sure we grab it. Lob shock transfusion. I think this just even though it's got a longer fuse time, having the slag in the transfusion does make it better. Yeah, I want this is a decent shield, but what I want is plus six and backdraft. I'm not gonna try unless it's plus six. What's my current class mod? Hmm. We're good without it. And now let's go into... A Blight Phoenix is pretty trash. Let's do Immolate. If we go down, we'll be happy to have it. And we have to kill one boss before we can get to our Ruin skill. But even then, like, you get Ruin for the raid boss, and you're like, okay, now what? You know, it's like, you just don't do any damage. Now, if you get a bee shield and a sandhawk and all that kind of stuff, like, yeah, you can do some damage. But other than that... It's like, but she's by far the worst character. But mobbing on her is super fun. Like, it's always... It's it, it's pretty much just... A, it's a worthwhile experience just to get the mobbing. By the way, what is the, what are the parts of my Ravager? I haven't even looked. A TD or grip and a Jacob stock. I don't know what all those parts do. I was hoping to have a matching grip, but... If I had a matching grip, I'd be doing even more damage. All right, this this boss, a little annoying. Maybe we we go to a a pushka sniper a rifle. 
Plus one grenade to start. There we go. We should be getting slagged soon-ish. Good work. Come on. You gotta get, these other guys gotta get off me. Get off me. Hmm, not a lot of damage coming out there. She, I think she walks away from my cloud kill, which is a big deal. But, you know, at least we saved, we saved some shotgun ammo. We're gonna get her into her immunity phase here soon. Good. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled Ravager programming. Thank you. A good pull in this Ravager, honestly. See ya. See ya. Do I have... Do I forgot max shotgun ammo, right? No, SMG max ammo. Well, it feels like I have a ton of ammo on my shotgun right now. Might just be me. Is, is it normal to have this much? Okay, see ya. Is she back? The one thing I don't want to have her do is... I don't want to have her heal up off me, so I'm gonna go watch her hands for that green one. For her green attack. That's the one thing you gotta look out for. Once she, does, once she starts doing that attack, you just gotta run away. Find a place to run to. Oh, yeah, she's definitely gonna heal up off me now. Oh, nope. She didn't. Good. What's that? That's a slag grenade. Hopefully, it'll slag her up. Oh, that, that hurt. Oh, good thing I tossed my transfusion now. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Oh, she's got she got heal juice coming. Here we go. I want to thank the transfusions for keeping me alive there. It is kind of funny how I'm using transfusions over a chain lightning, but you know it is what it is. And the, the chain lightning again, it just, it's not does not gonna do that much force. It's crazy how she just sits up there shooting bows and arrows at me. It's just scummy technique. We'll see ya. Ravager plus cloud kill is insane. I mean, Ravager plus or cloud kill plus anything is insane, but specifically Ravager because it's usually enough. Just those two. Oh, don't eat my cloud kill, you little thing. Oh shoot! I didn't sprint. Looks like I'm fine. She didn't get the heal off. Let's go for some DPS, I think. Get off me. So many other little little lads. It's so annoying to deal with. They never stop. Oh, here comes the heal juice. Run, 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 run. Okay, good. Doing a good job not letting her heal up off us. Oh, not just kidding. Doing a terrible job not letting her heal up off us. Dang it. Two in a row. Was not ready for that. We'll go down. Oh, a third one? And I'm slowed. Dang it, losing so much progress on this boss. Uh, let's just, just toss this out. Maybe it'll be better at slagging. Come on, get slagged. Doesn't resist fire. Another one, huh? Another? We're gonna try to heal juice again? Not this time. This time I'm ready for it. Get slagged, get slagged. Okay, if, it's, if that's not gonna slag, there's really no reason to use it. I'm only using it because it's, it's better slag potential than the transfusion. I see you doing heal juice. Run, 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 run. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good. Nice. Very good. Toss these out. Could be getting more slag, probably, but... Or more... Yeah, more slag, but... Not my best. She resists cloud kill. It's actually a pretty tough, pretty tough matchup for me. I'm all out of grenades. I don't want to get too close. Do I have anything else that's fire? Anything fire? No. You have a slagger. We could use this just for a bit. This could help us slag. Yeah, I should have been using that from the start. Okay, what do we get? 
Uh, okay, a crit. We do have something now that can heal us that we can swap to. We got three different options that we can swap to to heal us. Okay. Let's grab the crit. Let's grab all three. I don't have faith in the landscaper. Over a ravager. Yeah, like its damage is just so much lower. I don't see how we would ever get use out of it. Okay. Not so bad. How much iridium do we have? 339? We're not going to make another break point, but... I wish we get as much iridium as we can. Sorry to those weapons. Now we have a chain lightning plus a moxie weapon, which is good for healing. If we get in trouble, we can just swap down and toss. Hoping for some tiny Tina class mods here. My last run with Salvador, if you guys missed that one, holy, you gotta go watch that one. That one just went absolutely nuclear. I got basically, like, it was basically as good of a run as you could possibly get. Like, the only thing that I didn't have is, like, one more point in Money Shot, but, like, it was, it was out of this world strong. Okay, and let's do, let's do Ward. And, yeah, we should be fine with that. Let's keep it moving. Sanctuary. I do want to increase my my Grenage. That's healing purposes. And I have max ammo on SMG, so let's do a couple pulls. Okay, class mods, good. Legendary Siren, absolutely. It's a big get. Now B shield. Okay, well, a Hellfire goes absolutely insane. Good stuff. Let's go a little bit more SMG. And a Plasma Caster. Okay, well, we're kind of geared up to the gills with... Oh, I don't want that to be trash. Okay. The SMGs. The Infection Cleaner, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm at 37 out of 39. Let's just drop some stuff now while we're here. Yeah, ready? Boom. Okay. Let's go. If we get Terra Marvis, I'll be happy. Terra me? Okay, good. Woo! Nice. Now, Chain Lightning goes in. Hellfire comes out. Don't need a slag on my bag, but what I do need is... Which one? Of, I'm going to look up which one of these Moxie weapons, the Kitten, the Crit, or the Sherame, has the highest heal rate. Let me go find out. Okay, so according to chat GPT, the, all of these current ones that I have, the kitten, the the crit, and the Sherame, all have the same heal rate of 2%, which is the lowest. Creamer has a 3%, and the Ruby is higher, and the Grog is much, much higher. So let's just go with Sherame because it does have fire damage. All right. Bring it on, homie. To, to live, we swap down, we throw a grenade. Well, okay, wait, maybe it's about it's about swap speed more than anything else. So I'm going to figure out which one has the fastest swap speed. The share maze right there was really, really slow. Swap. Swap. Okay, that seems pretty okay. I mean, here comes Terra. I'm going to stick with the crit for now. Okay, well, come on. If I get in trouble, we, we swap, we chuck grenade. Simple enough. Come on, get rinsed, get rinsed, get rinsed. Good. I'm going to go to Pride Rock. Okay, decent spot right here. Walk back a little bit. Good stuff. Get phase locked. Go for those crits. Make sure we aim nice and 
We just want to make sure we aim a lot here. Kill this one. Nice. And if we get into trouble, we just we scroll down and we swap. Get back up a little. Nice. Good swings. Good swings, Terra. Nice swings. You hit nothing. Oh, back up. Face lock. Good fight for me so far. That's good good crits right there. Alright, just going back. I need to start using this rock more. Seems really strong. All crits for your lad. Okay, here comes the rock tentacles. Oh yeah, those are definitely gonna hit me. Okay. Juke City. Population U. Okay, hey, Terra goes down here for sure. Nice. Good stuff right there. Huge stuff. Alright, let's get my first reward. A longbow corrosive O negative. That's really good. It's not a longbow slag O negative, but I have my own slag. Oh, a Florentine SMG. Okay, a legendary cat would go crazy in this run. A Nirvana. It's my chance to compare the two. Damage is lower. Fire rate is lower. Accuracy is higher. Reload speed is faster. It's higher than Nirvana, but... Hellfire over Nirvana. Crazy thing to say. Alright, Florentine. Yeah, I mean, we are packed to the gills with SMGs right now. Absolutely packed to the gills. Okay, not a bad fight. We wanted Terra Morphers, we got Terra Morphers, and now we have a weapon for Craw and for Pyropete. Legendary Cat Class mod can make this a way stronger. As far as damage. But we're going to want to start specking survivability as much as possible here soon. But Maya doesn't have that many survivability skills, honestly. I don't, I don't think so, at least. Like, they're all based on kill skills. Like, her one really good survivability skill, as further than the tree, life tap, is a kill skill. And against dragons, I've said it once, I've said it a million times, kill skills are almost useless. All right, let's see. How about a cat class mod? Well, we'll stick with Legendary Siren. Definitely stick with Legendary Siren. No reason, no reason to swap up right now. Good stuff. And if we get in the trouble, we swap down and we throw a grenade. Simple as that. Okay, let's go. Hellfire. This should be a pretty free stage. Go down. Yep. You're blocking all my shots? Don't care. Keep, keep burning you. Put somebody up. Nice. Now we can start, you know, moving our points into different trees. We have our permanent slag, basically. Go up. Very strong. And having maximum SMG ammo goes kind of crazy. Yeah, I go up and then down. Easier to farm up the stage that way. Our gear is looking pretty nice. I mean, I would like a Grog Nozzle. That way I can do quick swaps and toss. And a ruby as well. Like, a ruby would be just as strong. I just need it for the swap speed. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what element I get a ruby in. Um, Let's take this... Let's take this blow to the Seraphs, because it might be the best thing for us in, ca in case of a dragon fight. Like, what if we just go all into defense and just do a war of attrition against the dragons? Hmm... A small little shield, but the regen's really quick, but... I'm good. Let's do... One point in wreck. One point in accelerate. One point in flicker. Just because it's, it gives us so much value just to have one point in each of those. And then let's go deeper into... Go deeper into ward. 
that way we don't have to do um swap and swap and tosses as much our, our shield will stay up and what you got for me a citrine quad with a hyperion grip diamond sniper rifle oh, another quad that one with a tdr grip we're just getting the quads out of the wazoo right now two eight five four eight one two eight five four eight one Accuracy 30.9, accuracy 23.3, reload speed 2.7. This one's better. Look at that. Quick maths. Faster fire rate, same damage. As of right now, I'm kind of feeling these. Kind of feeling these SMGs. And this Hellfire is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Legendary? Uh, it's Slayer Terramorphous. Okay. Let's move on. Oh, there's a plus six backdraft. <laughs> I said I would take it. I don't know how useful it'll be. All right, we need crows in here. Maybe the Florentine will is, is strong enough to get us through. We'll try Florentine, and if it's not pumping, we'll switch to Slaga. If it's not pumping, we'll switch to something else. Okay, that, I mean, there's a gun loader, but it was it definitely pumped. Not bad. This is without a, this is without a cat class mod, by the way. I still have synergy because of the relic I got. I haven't really gotten too many relics, so. Later, kid. See you later. Here we go, now swap to my Hellfire. Oh my gosh, who now we are... Now we're gaming. Later. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? We only got two enemies to kill, but let's make it quick. See ya. All right, let's do a quick, a quick uh, stage farm out. It's just that no matter how strong I get, I just feel like, oh, we'll take that for sure. We're taking a lot of stuff. We're gonna have to empty our inventory again. Like, no matter how strong I get on Maya, it's always going to come down to whether or not you can kill those dragons. They are so strong. Increase the duration of phase lock. I don't think I need it. Mm. I think what I need is more healing. Let's go defense at this point. I think, I think defense is where it's going to be at. A little bit of wreck as well. Yeah, all the extra damage we don't really need. At least it feels that way. Mm, is that going to be better than my current launcher? No, it was actually way worse <laughs> across the board. It's interesting how the Nirvana is like the Hellfire, but the mine is... I mean, I'm sure it's just a part stiff. The mine's just so much better. My Hellfire is so much better than my Nirvana. Okay, power lure go up. Oh wait, I need a, a different weapon here. Now, something I didn't realize is that I've actually just been using cloud kill. Oh, an uncapped herald, nice. Get cloud killed, brother. Every weapon is corrosive when you play Maya. Ow. Get some health back. Walk forward, walk back. All right, so let's let's see how well this can work. Like, where's my? Oh, I need to scroll up. Yeah, see, look, that chain lightning isn't healing me for basically anything. Look at that. That healing is not good. It's not strong enough. Nowhere near strong enough. I need a grog or something. Like, maybe Ruby can get the job done, but I think realistically it's the, it's the grog. So, yeah. Oh, how does that even happen? Oh, I'm in trouble, actually. Come on, Florentine, get me there. And Cloud Kill, obviously. Good. See you later, homie.
There we go. Nice easy round. The 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 badass enemy didn't even come out, which is crazy. Ooh, that looks like a nice quad. I wonder if it's better than the one I've got. Let's compare it to the Rustler's quad has more damage. Way lower accuracy, and the reload speed is only one point worse. It's actually better. I just like to look at the shotguns. I'm just a shotgun fanatic. It is what it is. All right, five points. Let's go into Wreck. And let's do Elated. And it's not going to help me against the dragons, but this is what it is. Sheriff's Bad Energy got one. Life tap is the, like, or sustenance is the only skill that really does help against dragons, but even that is, like, such, such low healing. I don't get that chest. Okay, let's move on. Sawtooth Cauldron, and I can rack the Hellfire. And I am looking for better grenades. Well, yeah, at this point, I think I am looking for better grenades. I ditched my transfusion, so I'm gonna want one back. Tread their shields down with that bad, Larry. Let's see max health and grenade bonuses. Let's just let's just toss as many grenades as we can. Okay, spawning some enemies. Is this this zone? You have to walk up pretty far to get more enemies to spawn. Then when they do, they're all over the place. See ya. Go down, homie. Oh, he's a tanky lad, huh? Let's put him up, actually. Get him slagged up and put him down. Good. Gonna want this. Come out here, brother. Put him up. Drain his shield. Rip him in. Good. Love Thumper. Okay, hold on a second. We could go the backdraft build. I'm not going it. Alright, a couple bottles to, to tap up here. Bottle me. Okay. Five points. Uh elated, and let's do sustenance. Again, sustenance is not a lot of healing, but it's it's some healing. And you don't have access to damage reduction, and just not taking damage is is it's not, this isn't like other games. Like just not take damage if kid is like it doesn't work. This isn't Dark Souls. Like you're gonna have to take damage. Okay, that's a nice turtle shield, but I don't I don't have inertia right now. Inertia. I think it okay that is I'll take it it is percent based delay regen so like the bigger the delay on my shield the bigger the more of an impact ward has All right, let's slag and bag this turkey. I honestly don't know how we're going to heal these dragons again. This is... Uh, it's a little bit early on that slag right there. Shoot it, skullet. Shoot it, skullet. Oh, it's going to hit me. Oh, I jumped. I'm not sure if that even works. Keep them slags. Land those crits, land those crits. I have increased crit damage. Good. Okay, yeah, Waddle Gobbler's getting rinsed right now. Oh, yeah. Good damage from the Hellfire. Thank you, good sir. He just fighting my life. Drop me. Poach gun. We need as much rhythm as we can get. 
492, so close to another pull of the box. We'll get there. It's actually better. Oh, I don't want to drop it though. No, no, no. Oh, a Nirvana. Damage the same. Fire rate lower, but everything else is higher. Let's take it. We have to drop some stuff. I'll see you guys in a second. You yeah, ready? Boom. Get back my chain lightning. And let's do... I kind of want to see... The one with the blade is worse. I think... Honestly... This Nirvana might out-damage it. It's fire is a little bit slower, though, but... It's reload speeds a whole. Uh, it's reload speeds a whole second faster. All right, let's do some some life tap. Okay, now grog me, grog me, lady fist, judge. Hmm. Well, we tried. We still have a couple more chances for it. In tier three, a lot of the mission rewards are uniques. But that can help us out in getting some, but it's not looking good as far as our healing goes. We're trying to mitigate, you know, the effects, but we tough. Okay. What you got for me? Nothing crazy. Let's move on to Sanctuary. We go. Now, we're not going to get... We're not going to get... Terramorphous again. Let's, let's just increase our SMG a little bit. And then open this bad boy up. That TP? Nope. Logan's gone. Hold on here. It's one of the three things we need. I'll take a Hector's Paradise. Another Logan's gun, and that's a... I like Pitchforks. Hmm, unlucky. Okay, actually, that's not, that's not even bad. Let's drop some of this trash off before we head in. Okay, already? Boom. Um, see you later to all that stuff. And I might want to increase my sniper just a little bit here. If we get Hyperus, we'll be happy we did it. Okay. Give me that pitchfork. Nirvana, sorry, you're going on the bench. Alright, just rinse, rinse him a little bit with this weapon. Here we go. Alright, let's do it. Okay. I mean, the Florentine's good. How much does the pitchfork do? I'm sure it's going to do a ton. Yeah, it does a ton. Good. I can probably just hip fire it, honestly. Yep. This, this a little bit of cloud kill goes a long way here. Just like that. Okay. Just back to my pitchfork. Just take one shot. It, it'll be enough. It's crazy how that's enough. Oh, what a whiff. Make sure my cloud kills up, and then it'll definitely be enough for each one. Wait for the cloud kill. Okay. And then Unmas. Cloud kill. Come back. There. Now he's slagged, and now he's gonna get bagged. Okay. Wait for cloud kill. Ha. Seems pretty simple. Juke, juke, juke. I'm in trouble. As long as I don't take any more damage, that'll be okay. I guess we could swap down. We do have... Yeah, we do have transfusing grenades that we can use. Kind of our best here. You know what? While we're here, we don't, we don't need the extra SMG max ammo. Let's just do... Max health regen. This could be the adaptation we need to make. Good shot. Scroll twice. Phase lock. Oh. 
Okay, dang it. Now we gotta wait a little bit for my cloud kill to come back up, but we just take our time here. Ow. Keep draining my shield, homie. That's fine. I don't care. It's because the cloud kill is damaging those is damaging those barriers. That's why it's happening. Even with just taking one shot, and see how much the pitchfork drains your ammo though. Okay. Oof, pretty low on HP. Don't want to take too much damage. Thank you, Cloud Kill. Hit ya. And one more. See ya. Alright, now we can just focus on the boss. And we can switch to the... Uh... uh Nirvana. That's not the Nirvana. Thank you. Ooh. It's flagged, homie. Juke. I take this might take some time, but we'll get there. Juke. Slag him up. It says he's resisting, but I do not believe he resists fire at all. Maybe if you hit him in certain spots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Jump. Jump. No. Dang it. What a, a run ends a little bit short, a little bit abrupt, abrupt, but that's, that's Maya, that's Maya raid bossing just in a nutshell. Like this is a perfect example. We do not have a solid way to heal. The transfusion grenades can help, but they're not consistent. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you uh, want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.